friends welcome to my video in this video we'll see how to fix the error only mutable bitmaps may be reconfigured in your android app so basically we'll convert the immutable bitmap to mutable bitmap so first we'll create a bit immutable bitmap that's by accessing a url so i'll be using my sample image on my from my website programmable.co and i'll be first getting it an immutable bitmap and then converting it to a mutable bitmap so let me start i will create a very simple layout immutable to mutable bitmap click finish and wait for the environment to load it may take a while but once the environment is loaded up first and foremost what i will do is in the manifest file i will define it the access to internet because we will be accessing the url over the internet perfect i will also start my emulator in parallel so it can load and i will just minimize this left hand side now in the layout what i will do is i will keep this text view and probably okay let me bring it a little bit up and what i will do is i will add few buttons first button will do show the this immutable right the uh, initial part so immutable bitmap and i'll give it some constraints so why it is happening is because i'm also starting emulator in parallel so sometimes android is should behave that way okay and okay i can probably make it a little bit bigger and i'll add two buttons because to convert to mutable uh the two ways we can do it so i'll show both convert to mutable bitmap one okay this is pretty long no problem i'll do one thing like this yeah and i will in constraints and i'll add one more button i'll add it to be low like this yeah that's okay of course i'm not pretty good in uh, this layout design and all but yeah i want to focus on the functionality part so here goes the second one and i give the required constraints so my emulator came up i'll just minimize it we'll look at it later and i think i'll leave this one as it is i'll just give it some id text view and i'll bring one image view where we'll see our output i'll give it the default background i won't do much over there and i'll just make it a bit bigger okay and i will give the required constraints over here perfect okay so that's all now i can quickly move to my java code and here i will start defining first few class variables which will basically nothing but uh, text view for the text view widget and one for i think image view i will need image view for image view widget okay and we may need something called uh, url for storing the url and that's it i guess one, one probably for bitmap bitmap yeah the default bitmap and i'll do one thing in this on create method itself i'll quickly define or associate the widget to the right variables text view and image view so find you by id r dot id dot image view and once that is associated i also create public method public void button convert to mutable view view so i'll do one thing i'll name it as one this is for the first option and i'll create one more method control c control v control v and name it as two yeah I know I'll quickly go back to my layout and associate those two methods with the on click attribute of these two buttons. So this is for the first one and similarly for this one for the second one. Perfect. So I'll just move it to us right hand side. That's it. Now I think from layout perspective, we are done here and I'll move back, come back here. Now, first and foremost, I'll first define the URL over here. So URL, how I can do it is new url and i may have to give the url string so i'll go to my this place i'll be using this 
you are right as, as I told so uh, let's see what I'll be using perfect I think it's giving some error let me see what's the error uh, no, I think it's just, oh try catch yeah. so just do it uh, the try catch what it expects and now once I have it then I will also create my bitmap from this URL so for that I can use bitmap factory dot decode stream I think I can use this input stream and for URL I can say open stream perfect yeah and here again is asking for exception I think what I will do is I'll just convert this into an exception to take off all the things but please note here we'll be using open stream right so we can't run it in the main thread over here in the own thread so what I'll do is I'll create another thread out of it so let me do that quickly thread thread new thread and what I can do inside is I can run a new runnable perfect and I think that's I can give it and I can then do a thread dot start yeah so this is uh, this will take over my thread part but in the run this all part of the code I'll shift it inside this run over here now once I have done all these things I'll do is I'll show the first uh, in this part the default image okay so I think I should convert one more uh, method here sorry public void button immutable bitmap so this is the default bitmap I want to show that initially it was immutable and then we are converting that to the immutable uh, to the mutable type and that particular new method will associate it with the this button on click attribute so this is the last one here okay so if I come back to my Java code over here now we can do simply is image view dot set image bitmap and we can show this bitmap and also text view set text um, I can put image a bitmap is is mutable so we can put that and we can then try to switch whether it's true or not. Boolean to string, and we can use bitmap is mutable uh, method. So if you see the written type of this is boolean, so and we are converting it into a string type. Sorry, it can be printed accordingly. Perfect. Now we can use the same for the once we convert it into. But yeah, we'll. I'll do one thing. I'll first copy paste this uh, over here. However, I'll create a local variable over here. Another local variable called bitmap bitmap mutable image because I'll be converting the initial bitmap to the mutable uh, bitmap. So I'll there are two ways we can do. One is by creating a scaled bitmap option, and the inputs will be uh, the first input will be of course the initial bitmap and the width and height uh, destination width and height and the filter so here the initial bitmap will be of course the uh, false one which is like basically immutable and then in, in width and height what I can do is I can just simply get the width of the image view and for height again I can get the height of the image view and for filter I can do is I can just put it as true as my filter argument okay and what I'll do is I'll use this over here to even display and even put it over here. Control V whether it's mutable or not. Okay, I think I can make, make B as capital. Okay. And same thing I'll use is uh, I'll copy press control C, control V in the second option. However, in the second option, uh, instead of doing this create a skill, uh, there's another way of converting. It and that's uh, by using a method called copy. So in copy, if you see, you can set the configuration and then set the boolean uh, over here. So first is uh, config, which is basically I think I can give this one anything you can give, uh, whatever you prefer. And the second argument will be whether it's a mutable or not, and I'll give it as true over here. And so things are fine. So I can quickly run it now and see. How it turns up. So, in simple words, uh, we have initially created an immutable image, and then we have used two approach to convert it into a 
mutable. So first I'll show you uh, immutable image, which is this is the initial image, which is same as what we are showing here. And if you can read this text, okay, let me zoom in a bit. It says here it's false mutable. Now let me use the second option, which is basically it's true now. And this is this first method it's being run over here, which is it is converting it into a scale bitmap. So if you notice the size change a little bit uh, over here. So I'll toggle. Let me go back. Yeah, if you notice the size of the image changes because it tries to fit with the image view height and width. Now if I use the second one, this is also true. However, because it's just a copy of the initial bitmap. So size remains same uh, as the initial bitmap. However, the muta mutable uh, attribute is true over here. Yeah, so if I just toggle between these two, the image doesn't change. However, this changes. Uh, the output of this is mutable metric. So that's what I wanted to show you in this short video that uh, how easy it is to convert. There are few approaches which you can use to convert an immutable image to a mutable. And why you need to convert it? If you want to do some changes, say for example, in this example, we wanted to resize this image, resize this bitmap. So if it's immutable, it will not allow you. So in this case, uh, it will not allow. However, in this, once it's converted to a mutable image, it will allow you to change the configuration, whatever you want to do the changes. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.